I'm through with standing in line. Oh, oh, hey. 15 years. I never really wanted to do this part of it. All right, I'm just here to talk smack about the other guys. Is this some kind of group therapy that only one person does? I want a brand new house on an episode of Grey. My first impression of Daniel? He sold me an instrument once. When they shot too bad, they needed a guitar. Very expensive guitar that we never rent out. And I'm like, you know, it's Nickelback. So we lent it out for free. He was an excellent sales associate to work with. When they returned it, he had scratched the whole back of this guitar. My first impression of Daniel. Peaks was Mysterio. He was always kind of in the corner of a room in a shroud of fog. Daniel who? I thought, I thought things are gonna turn out here. Oh, the nicknames I know about? Peaks. Peaks. I'm plural. Mine's Chuck. Chad's Chuck. Chad is Chuckles. <laughs> Mike's just Mike. Old man or grandma. Mike is Mike. The old Mike. Or dad. Mike still thinks that he's my dad. Yeah, well. Daniel. Dagnall. Dennis. Darren. I like Darren. Dr. Darren, Aaron to Dare. This has his own airlines. Danny. Danny. He loves Danny. I, I hate Danny. When people come up and meet and greets and they say Danny, I think he gets butterflies. Don't ever call me Danny. <laughs> the least rock star thing about me, I sing in a band called Nickelback. You're not supposed to laugh that fing hard. I'm very organized. I clean my own gutters and injure myself, twofer. I think there's an, the, an equal uh, propensity to prank in our group. Probably Chad. Yeah, I realized with Chad, I think there's a couple little pranks I pulled, or some jokes in the beginning, and then it escalated so quick. Like, this guy's gonna win. You gotta be careful when you're pulling pranks, especially when you're on the road. If you can pull a prank on someone and then like immediately get on a plane and disappear. That is the safest way to do it. I did uh, make a pot of decaffeinated coffee when I told Daniel it was caffeinated. I mean, that was hilarious. Mike, first thing that comes to mind on stage. <laughs> Something Daniel usually says is, does this have gluten in it? It's gotta be gluten-free beer. Oh, it's the dark cloud we live under. Yeah! No one told me about this. Do we, I didn't agree to this. Why are we doing this? That's Chad in a nutshell. Chad's like, I'm always right. I'm the guy that's always right. And Mike's like, I invented the internet. I'm the guy that's always right. There's a presumption when you run into people and they go, hey, oh, you're Daniel there from Nickelback. Wow, where are the other guys? Like, we live in a band house together. Did you buy an island? And I said, no. He said, everybody's saying that you bought an island. And I said, well, keep it going. So you want to hear my favorite dad joke? What's the difference between jelly and jam? No, I can't sell that one. <laughs> no, I can't. What's the difference between a lentil and a chickpea? I've never had a lentil on my face. <laughs> Even the people in the fucking back that don't like our fucking band, they were fucking laughing. If I had to rename Nickelback, it was hard enough to name this one. Mr. Pancakes. Ryan Peake and his ruffian friends. Uh, Clay Sorbet. Thanks for suffering through all of this BS. This has been absolutely ridiculous. That's it? All right. Uh, 